I think a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this. It might be considered a hot take. I don't know. It's just my opinion. But I think that the best thing that Jordan Brand has ever done as far as retros are concerned has been the Air Jordan 1 in the 85 cut until these. Hey, what's good, guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. Today, we got a detailed look and a review on these bad boys. These guys right here are the Air Jordan 3, the Desert Elephants, if that's what they're calling them. I can't remember, but uh, all I know is that this is like, f look at these. Look at the shape. I've been infatuated with these since they came in. This might be a perfect retro. N not, look, take that back a little bit, break down a couple notches. There's no Nike Air on the back, so it can't be perfect, but almost perfect. Look at the shape. Look at it. The shape on this shoe is so nice. But anyways, like I was saying before, this is the Air Jordan 3 and the Desert Elephant. I don't know if that's the actual like name, so forgive me if I'm incorrect by the time marketing and stuff comes out for them. All I know is that these are killer man and i've liked these ever since the first images like we first heard about them through a render there was the leaked like this is the color this is kind of what they're going to look like and then there's a photoshopped image of what people are perceiving the shoe's going to look like and then they actually showed the shoe and everybody's been sh on these ever since they're like no those are trash all that stuff i'm kind of like bro like what are you talking about like these are so dope this is the way to do something old and have it make it feel fresh like this shoe has been around since 1988 you can't just drop that colorway that black and cement every time even though i totally wouldn't be mad about that especially if they look like this like this is perfect but this is cool right here man they almost look like vintage and like every panel on here is made out of some really nice leather like i'm actually surprised i love this I love this so much that our next sense of apparel drop is actually celebrating two of the best Jordans of all time, the 1988 Air Jordan 3 and the 1989 Air Jordan 4, but instead we're doing them as bringbacks. So we're going to add a brand new colorway because I think the first colorway that we launched was the white cements, right? We're doing the black cements plus the white cements. <sighs> then we're doing the, uh, or I think we already did the black and cement fours. We're gonna do the my favorite one, the white cement fours, but we're also bringing back the black cement fours just in case anybody missed out. Yeah. They're gonna be on different colored uh, premium items and all that stuff, and then they're also gonna have a nice little fun Sense logo on the back of the neck that's gonna match the shoes that are showing on the, the front of the shirt. It's gonna be so sick. Yeah. But these guys right here are just fantastic. Like the outsole is gorgeous. It's this really weird kind of like bone color. I love the way that it looks, even against orange. I don't like orange at all and this looks really cool to me like it almost looks like a distressed red i really dig it the midsole is pre-aged or pre-vintaged which everybody has been doing to their shoes lately so i don't know why people are opposed to it all of a sudden but i think that it looks fantastic uh, maybe people are just mad that like they look just like a black cement 3 without being the black cement 3 but if you're mad about that why is this okay then you guys want this one i see the comments they're like yeah these are fantastic even though they're not quite royal but they'll still work why is there a big difference there the tech specs are the same as every other Air Jordan 3. So basically we have a polyurethane midsole. You can see the visible air sole unit at the heel. There's also an encapsulated one in the forefoot. The insole is beautifully comfortable polyurethane, the real deal stuff, not that cheap fluffy black one that they put in the Jordan 1s. And uh, on top of that, they added the patch thing. I don't really like when these are in here, like sewn on like that. You can always feel it. But the materials on these shoes are just phenomenal. Like all of this bone color that you see on the eye stay, the collar and the tongue is suede and it's not up suede it's not fake suede it's actual suede it looks fantastic the black material looks so premium now the material is not soft so when you get these in or if you go for them and you get them in hand and like say you compare them with something like this right and like you're like oh this one's so soft and buttery feeling and then you get this one and it's a little bit firmer it feels a little bit thicker a little bit stiffer think 85 the 85 cut jordan 1 same thing thicker leather better material it's just going to be a little stiff it's going to require a little bit more breaking time they're not going to crease as soon as you look at them they're going to age perfectly with your foot the more that you love the shoe the way that you're supposed to which is on your feet not on a shelf on your feet lace them up go do something that's what these things are made for man they are made for walking they were made for balling it's fantastic man like this material is great it's not premium but it's close however the elephant print boy i don't even know how they did this it looks 
awesome. This almost looks vintage, but without black lines. Like they just kind of pressed into the material and just let it do its thing. This looks like a fake elephant. This, while it doesn't look like an elephant, it just looks natural. It looks really, really good. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, they do fit true to size, whatever you typically wear in your Air Jordan 3s. That's exactly what I would recommend getting. I don't even know what you think about these. I don't even remember if I showed you them or not prior to getting them in. You I'm, showed I'm, me. I might have. I've gotten really good at just not saying anything. She does. So it makes me feel like she doesn't care <laughs> about what I'm saying. Uh, she saves it all for you. I do. Okay, that's love right there. <laughs> Not for me, <laughs> for you. But yeah, what do you think about these now that they're in? Like, What do you think I think? I don't know, that's what I'm asking. You don't have any I inklings? Think, I think that you, you will like the brown. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what she gives me folks she's like i like that well i do like these i think they look very distinguished what does that mean exactly they just look like they're like a grown-up man's really yeah like so this is the old man threes yeah like hey or grown man threes yeah they're grown man threes like this is the this is the, this is the new balance of jordan threes <laughs> yeah these are elegant yeah almost elegant that's why i went with distinguished what the f is the difference distinguish i don't know these just look Dis like distinguish means like you're cute but with a beard now you know what i mean like so like is yeah. this like the beard for jordan threes yeah, like no, these add look a little like, bit of brown to these them? look like you should be like handing out a cigar and like is it called a snifter what where you put like your really hoity-toity alcoholic beverages in man you know damn well i don't drink <laughs> i don't no. <laughs> I'm just saying these just look like they look like a grown man three like they're not these stupid purple ones I really like those if you watch that video you already know that I don't like them these I like well I love them I've been wanting to get this review done just so I can wear them do you like them more than because I think last time I don't even remember what video it was but you had said that you didn't like any of the original colorways like they were not on your top list yeah. of anything yeah so this shoe right here in this colorway is like a top shoe probably of all time at least top five I would expand in, in this colorway what what do you think I had done my top three favorite Jordan three mm -hmm. colors I would expand it to have a fourth so I could fit this one in there I would not not bump any of my other ones but I would do you remember what those were though they were the cardinal reds okay so you still hold those above these uh, I don't know in no particular order oh, okay. okay and then it was the nacho threes the laser orange do you like those or you just like that you <laughs> no. call them nacho threes <laughs> I hold them near and dear to my heart that's how she thinks you guys okay so like she's always trolling all right no I do like those and then what was my third one mm. Whatever it is, these just replace them. Because if you can't even remember, then they weren't that special. Did we do a video on them recently? Went another wrong. If I went to do a top app. five, I would include those racer blues just to irritate you. And that's me trolling. <laughs> well, hold on, I'm gonna, oh, dark mochas, was that it? Oh or yeah, I did like it? the dark mochas. Okay, man, when they do add brown to the threes, it does something. It's a little pop of grown up, I feel. Really? Mm -hmm. So it's like coffee, like coffee's for adults. Yeah. So these are that? Yeah. Okay, and to, to be clear though, by the way, I do not dislike the racer blue threes. <laughs> he doesn't like the elephant. I just print. don't like the elephant print. Is that? That's it. You know what I mean? The colorway is fantastic. The shoe was fantastic. It's just the elephant print. Meh. It wasn't for me. I like this or that or this. That's all. I just oh, didn't. Oh, this looks so much better than those two. Yo, I'm telling you, these are so dope. I'd say also for Bay Area baseball fans, these are like a San Francisco Giants colorway with the catcher mitt thrown in. Oh. Jordan Brand, did you hear that? She just and did your PR for you. <laughs> You're welcome. So yeah, man, I think that these are really, really cool. Speaking of like a mitt though, like that's how this leather looks. Like it looks like it's like oiled leather. Like they worked on it, they tried. It's not this. Like look at the difference in this, this fake and tumble. It looks like hot sh like it looks like a kid's shoe. Well, this is a man's this shoe. This is a man's shoe, <laughs> exactly. Oh yeah, it's a man's shoe. Oh, oh, oh. But anyway, sound off below. Let us know what you think about these down below in the comments section. Personally, like if I were to give anybody some advice about these, if you're on the fence about them, that is. Wait till you see them in hand, that's all. This is one of those shoes where when you see it, you'll be like, oh, okay, I see what he's saying. They're elevated. They took this and believe it or not, they made it better. The These... word you're looking for is distinguished. No, I said <laughs> elevated, okay? They elevated the original product visually. And I think that that's very hard to do when you have a classic that has been a classic since 1988. It's almost impossible because everybody wants this. And I think that this is better looking than that. I'm just, 
I'm just saying. And I'm an OG guy. Like I want OGs and everything. This is better than the original. Better looking. Not a better product, just better looking. People keep twisting my words. That's why I gotta keep repeating myself. But again, let me know what you think about them down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for being a subscriber. Thanks for leaving a comment. Thanks for hitting the like button. Thanks for sending in a super thanks if you did. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next one. So until then, have a good one.